Well, presenters, welcome back. Coach Tommy Anthony Davis had just revitalized the Lakers thinking basketball. YouTube got me, man. They got me back, so let's watch together. The Lakers got myself a this coffee. Off with a whimper, dropping 10 of their first 12 games behind the least efficient offense in the league. They, but they try to they blame it on Russ. That offense around Anthony Davis, and for a moment at least, LeBron it completely James. turned their season around. Till he got hurt. Davis was currently sidelined yet again after a fluky foot injury against the Nuggets. So we'll have to wait and see if he can maintain the form he's played at over the last month. But after backsliding in the last few seasons, he's Back been an absolute problems. monster in part because of how LA changed its offense. Walk over and said some more. Get, get your most athletic dude to facilitate the ball. Screens off the ball. Get your best player setting the screens to your oldest After player running to the right where he can't shoot jumpers. KYP, know your personnel. LeBron. Um, when have you ever seen LeBron James come flow to the right and shoot a jumper? Then you pass it to the corner guy to run a pick and roll. Well, did. It's just and does LeBron roll there? No. Around. So then you just get LeBron posted up on, on the, the side. Player. Can he turn over the right shoulder? Hell no. Then he's probably going to have to do stupid little one leg fade on the other or court. just hold the ball forever and then so pass. Court. And that's not a great trip. What yeah, a possession. Here is one is on a 37 and a 20th year. Dumb dums. The Lakers. So. Their big change was involving Davis in the ball screen directly. Holy shit, he's been doing that with Chris Paul his whole career. Maximize his pressure as a roll man. Normally, pick and roll heavy offenses are built around the ball handler. But the Lakers' new offense is about Davis as the screener because he's so difficult to stop in these situations. He's skilled coming downhill on the roll. Damn, I need a $50 million a year contract to coach these guys. A mid range jumper. But perhaps the most devastating part of his screen game is attacking a mismatch after a Um, These other guys have to adjust. These guys in the corner ain't shooting threes. Um, let him kick it out the Patrick Beverly. Which, even Lonnie Walker ain't like a great three point shooter either. Start on LeBron are still subject to some bully ball from AD after they switch and the celtics actually needed a defensive counter in that game that we broke down on the more thinking basketball channel these switch mismatches are more than just posting up though they're about davis's incredible catch radius around the basket one of the reasons the post up is out of style these days is that team it's out of style because nobody wants to play there. It takes a lot of years to develop that nuance, the banging, the jujitsu in the post. There's a lot of physicality. The stupid refs don't let you bang around. You're not, there's no post in AAU. Good Lord. Teams are so much better at defending entry passes. Remember, it's not entry passes, it's all garbage. The standard technique is to front the post while another teammate shaves over it. This is, this is garbage. Um, you can flash Jason Tatum to that high post and then you can go high low or you, once you flash Jason Tatum back there He can lob it anywhere on the backside help if they throw it over the top Garbage but because Davis is such a giant vertical target His teammates can just throw it up in the air and he skies right over the smaller defenders to get it Notice how many of these screens he sets are inside the three-point line. I was just gonna say, stop running your offense so super high, LeBron James. You don't need any of those stupid dribble moves you've been working on all, all summer long. Pound, 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 cross. You just need to back down, side control your dude to the edge, and then set these little pick and rolls. AKA Mark Jackson, Jason Kidd. When they got older, Jesus Christ. This isn't a screen to create an immediate <laughs> shot for the ball. Magic Johnson. It's to get Davis inside a smaller defender near the basket to go and catch a pass. This is like an old fashioned pick and roll, setting up around the free throw line yes. and looking to spring the Damn, ball. Damn, Larry Bird with and the handles. This makes sense with non-shooters like Westbrook. Larry Bird with the handles. this space here, not shoot. Big old and double Davis's gap there. And doesn't want to leave him, so Westbrook is free to attack. Even if defenders can stay with the ball handler around the screen, 
Leaving AD's box, this man doesn't want to leave him. What do you want to so name this way? Because this thing, like a little okie doke, you got to be able to show it quick and then scoop Even it again. If defender, he wants to drive into this space here, not shoot. And Davis's man doesn't want to leave him. Sponsored by so Mr. Westbrook Baguette. Is free to attack. Even if defenders <laughs> that with the ball handler around the screen, leaving AD's body just opens up his role game again. Brooke Lopez takes one step toward the ball. Um, all the players are on the strong side of the ball, and then this doesn't matter if this is a terrible high pass, wide pass, because Anthony Davis has the whole side to do whatever the hell he wants once he catches it. So Westbrook just throws it up in the air. So it's not the greatest pass. Now look at that whole side's wide open. And that's another high. So there's no double teams. There's nobody coming in. There's nobody digging in. All you gotta do, take Percentage. your time. Shot for LA. Take a little jump hook. This is subtle, but watch Jokic here. He stays completely glued to Davis, so he doesn't have extra space to catch a lob. So AD's screen game and his general lob threats around the basket create gravity where defenders don't want to leave him, so that opens up driving lanes for his teammates. Los Angeles basically built this offense around Davis's screen and roll. Before November 6th, AD set 28 on-ball screens every 100 possessions. And according to Second Spectrum, their offensive rating on those plays was 95. After November 6th, Davis set 55 ball screens per 100 with a 102 offensive rating. So they've doubled their frequency while going from below average efficiency to well above average. And that jump this is this is um i guess i guess it's smart coaching because he was able to get off of it but dumb coaches try to make their system like they try to force players into a system players run the show right players are in control of the show the coach just orchestrates stuff so it sucks to develop a new system or come up with a, a different way or learn to coach a different way um. But you gotta build it around the players you got, man, unless you're trading everybody. Coincides with their overall offensive improvement around Davis. At the start of the season, LA was outscored by five points per 100 with AD on the floor with an offensive efficiency in just the 12th percentile. After November 6th, they've been plus five with AD on the floor and an offense in the 81st percentile. And in general, the most dominant player, the best player is the one that is supposed to demand the changes. He's the one that's supposed to do the most. So this shit- AD's personality isn't like that. He should have been demanding set screens, him him putting himself in the pick and rolls, him lobs, him post-ups. Shift to a Davis-centric attack built around his role. He should have said, LeBron, you're a bum, you're old. It's my team, get the hell out of the way. Game completely reinvigorated the Lakers who suddenly won seven of nine. But no, LeBron wants to be Steph Curry and shoot 40 footers. Games in the middle of November. And make movies and wait for his son to get into the NBA if LeVar Ball could do it, LeBron Ball. LeBron can do it better. Davis himself averaged a whopping 35 points and 15 rebounds on 72% true shooting in the 14 full games he played over this stretch. And that leads us to the other major component of the crap I've been saying. So you get him in 20 screen rolls and then you get him up to 50. Do you know how much more running and hits and bangs and jumps and bumps and bruises this dude is collecting? Um, he's fragile. This explosion. Davis's health. Fragile. After a transcendent performance in the bubble back in 2020, he spent the last two seasons in and out of the lineup constantly. Missing more than half of his team's games. Condensed time Going frame. Back. You don't got to fly. You're pretty much there. You can get treatment nonstop. You don't got to travel. You basically got only basketball to worry about. Back and watching his earlier film, he looked lighter on his feet to me and just more fluid. It's called young. He was already pretty filled out by 2018 at the age of 25, adding a bunch of muscle over the years as he matured into a defensive cheat code. That's because uh, the game was more physical back then. That's why he didn't want to play center. So that's why he switched to being a four. Able to move with the agility of a guard in certain spots with the wingspan of a pterodactyl. He was so quick off the floor that he could basically do the impossible. 
start at the free throw line when this pass is thrown and catch up to the ball at the rim. After some additional weight gain and the toll of those nagging injuries, he wasn't moving like that over the last few seasons, and that's chipped away at his value on both ends of the floor. Here's what rookie head coach Darvin Ham said recently before Davis's foot injury. I think he's feeling great. His body is feeling great. Um, he has some, a, a few back issues early on, but you know he's worked his way through them. And he's, he's... <laughs> you don't work through your way back issues in a few games or a few months. There's everything is connected to your back and spine, man. This he's is, having oh fun playing the game of basketball, pain free. The pain free part really jumps out to me because there have been flashes over these last few years that look like normal Davis. When he lands, he's like, oh, my he's back. laboring down the court and not entirely comfortable. Compare that to how well he moved recently, looking a little lighter on his feet with smoother change of directions at speed. This is more of a vintage Davis move, spinning away from the double team and flying around for a reverse. And, and extra um, directions at speed. landing like a fool. This is more of a vintage Davis move. <laughs> this is, this is 100% vintage. Okay, you should land like that, right? Take that spill and flop forward. Verse. And his extra You're supposed to tuck your. Oh my god. Feet. You're not supposed to. This oh is more of a vintage Davis move. Spinning away from the double team. <sighs> Let's watch it again. Verse. He's too busy. He's too busy staring at, at how that ball is going to go in or not instead of protecting his landing. Extra agility helps him as a roll man because he can attack empty space and then just slither around help defenders. This one was particularly eye-opening for me because the help was there along with a big man, but AD avoided both in the air and finished anyway. And this is a decent fall for me because the help was there along with a big man. But AD avoided both in the air and he did not avoid him. He banged into that guy. Finished. And you see how he hits the floor and then slides away? That's how you lessen the impact. And then you roll. Like watch any parkour guys. Do you see them flop and flail like this? Watch any X Games or sport AD. guys. And his improved health made a difference on defense where he hasn't been quite this, as. This reminds me when I'm teaching senior citizens how to like get up and down and roll. Um, when you're old, your hips fall, you, you know, broken bones, hips, like it's one of the most common injuries getting out of the tub. So you got to train people how to roll and fall and tuck, tuck their feet the right way and roll their shoulder. Dominant since oh. AD put on a clinic back in the bubble because that agility, seven foot six wingspan and quick leaping made him a nightmare for any offense. MPJ, get that ish out of here, boy. At that level lately to me, but he has been destructive on that end in the last month. A play like this one really stands out, where he played the entire second half, yet still pounces on this skip pass to somehow deflect it and force a turnover. And since he's moving better, he can quickly recover and shut off plays at the rim. Jaden Ivey has nowhere to go here, and we've been seeing more brilliant. I don't know if that's not a foul or not. He Since he's moving, crushes better, him in the air. He can quickly recover and shut off plays at the rim. Oh. And so this guy is talking about moving better the whole time, right? So shouldn't you optimize your game around moving well? Um, talked about it a lot, man. Movement, movement, movement. You can move a lot better without dribbling. It's, it's yeah. And Ivy has nowhere to go here. And we've been seeing more brilliant plays like this one on the defensive end. Here, he's in a drop coverage to take away the lob pass, then contests Devin Booker so he can't shoot, yet steals the pass with his other hand. I am contractually obligated That's just to mention great that this two-arm sorcery there. is a vintage Bill Russell move. Anyway, compare those plays to last year, where Davis looked more sluggish on plays like this one, where a little body contact nullified his vertical challenge. Fast forward. I don't know about that, man. That's Jalen Brunson is just Davis cutting off his jumping angle because he wasn't ready to jump. And then he quick jumped this. Sluggish on plays like this one, where a little body contact nullified his vertical challenge. Fast forward to a few weeks ago, and here's a similar play where Drew Holiday drops his shoulder, but Davis effortlessly strides and elevates to destroy the shot. 
and That's because a few weeks oh ago, where God, Davis man. looked more sluggish on plays. Okay, when when a guy's colliding with you and you're not you're not comfortable to jump, you're not free to jump, you're not going to jump, especially when he catches you off guard like with the jump. One, okay, so let's say this is a dribble, so he hasn't declared it, and he picks up on the first step. So it has nothing to do Fast with him to getting to his body. Ago. And here's a similar play where Drew Holiday... Here, Drew Holiday's going away from the rim. Shoulder. So Anthony Davis is going into him. But Davis so he can take this. So Drew Holiday, it's very hard for Drew Holiday to veer into him here. So then he takes his inside step. So if he jumps off this inside step, there's no power for Drew Holiday because the power would come from the outside leg. And so now he jumps for a regular left-handed layup. Boy, the shot. And you get and smacked. A few weeks ago... And here's a similar play where Drew Holiday oh, Lord, his man. shoulder, but Davis One, effortlessly strides two, and elevates normal to the rhythm. shot. And that is much closer to Good the defensive Lord. magic we've seen from him at his best. And that means when he puts it all together, there are brilliant possessions like this, covering ground to chase a three-point shooter off the line, then deterring a shot from behind, and rotating out to nearly block a jumper at the end of the clock. That's a great Never effort. To chase a three-point shooter. Boom, get him off. If he would have shot this floater, it would have been there, but he has to go around. I would have dimed it right there to Cornette, but maybe that's not his, his game. Deter right, so Euro steps through. They're playing for threes. Behind and rotating out. And this is a simple rotation since all of his energy is going that way. Right here, he has trouble slowing down, but he recovers pretty well. And then he's using his length. I will Everything give him credit we're there. Discussing really shows up in his impact metrics. Oh, why am I so angry now? Star candidate last season, but this year he's looked like one of the very best players in the world. It is a bit of a different style than we saw a few years back, using that extra weight to bang closer to the hoop as the Lakers' full-time center. And when there's a switch, why would if you're bigger and better than everybody? Why would you lose weight? I've been saying this like. That's so dumb. Or cross match, he just parks himself near the bucket to snatch offensive rebounds for putbacks. I don't know if I would call this version peak Anthony Davis. He's been asked. This is not peak Anthony Davis. He's definitely a shell of himself. He's getting probably like 20 more unhealthy pounds. But the game has slowed down enough and the guys have gotten lighter. The game has slowed down in his mind, not the actual pace of the game. And the guys have gotten lighter, so there's less big men to bang around. Has to pass way less and finish way more. But so look it in there. It's Jalen Brown, Derek White. Moving closer to the hoop has spiked his true shooting percentage. And it's not from hot shooting from the outside. or the Davis was never a three-point shooter anyways. Range, but because he's been living around the basket and creating mismatches rolling toward the hoop. Since the Lakers lack shooting... A Davis-centric offense makes sense for them, and he harmonizes with LeBron as a slasher and passer, and Russell Westbrook off the bench in a similar role. It's not the sexiest approach, but LA built something that isn't easy to guard. And <laughs> it ain't that hard, man. Jason Kidd won an NBA championship with Dirk Nowitzki, who could barely move, get get guys in positions where they can be successful. So after a few up and down seasons. The 29-year-old Anthony Davis reinvigorated the Lakers We're trying to change by people. playing like a top 10 player once again, and hopefully he can stay there and stay healthy when he returns. Did he you see uh, LeBron crossing up any of these guys, or is he just bigger, stronger, and just needs to put his butt down inside control? Lakers by play. <laughs> Uh, so so I make those videos that choose wisely, right? So whatever you're going to spend your time doing, cross, 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 his between, up and under, reverse, when all you need to do, if you're LeBron 6'9", 270, whatever the hell he is, turn your shoulder, put the dude, learn how to dribble with the ball on your side. Playing like and uh, a top guess what? You can just pass over people ten to cutters. Here once again, and hopefully he can stay there it ain't and rocket stay science. healthy when he returns. But y'all been fooled by you Instagram. video on how this... By Instagram and dudes trying to sell you stuff. I haven't tried to sell you stuff yet, but hopefully you're sold on my way of coaching. Until next time, take 14 minutes, 24 seconds, or 1% of your day to get better. Peace.